How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So recently, I made a video about eliminating Windows FPS stutters, and that is about disabling the Game Bar Presence Rider, which belongs to Xbox. So this will be part 2 of that video. Accordingly there is a problem, that if you run the system file checker command through CMD or PowerShell, the Game Bar Presence Rider will get restored, which means it gets enabled again. Then you have to repeat the renaming process whenever you run the SFC command. Now let's take a look at what this SFC command does is. It's basically looking for files that are corrupted and fixing those files. Therefore, Windows finds that the Game Bar Presence Rider is corrupted, so it gets back to the default. Furthermore, this video will show you some solutions to disable Game Bar Presence Rider. Also, this video is exclusively about the Game Bar Presence Rider. We don't disable or uninstall any other Xbox components. Now before we get started, I'll give a little summary about Game Bar Presence Rider. It is a process that can be run in order to implement the Game Bar's functionality. Also, it is a built-in feature for recording Xbox gaming in Microsoft Windows 10 and 11. In addition, if you're new to here, I do recommend you to watch this video first and then get back to this video, and I think that with previous optimization, it will ensure that this works properly. So let's get into the video. First, go to Windows Settings and choose Gaming. Now, in Xbox Game Bar section, you need to turn this off and uncheck this box as well. Next, we are going to disable the presence write process from the Game Bar overlay. For that, go to Windows Search and search for Xbox Game Bar. After that, you'll get the Xbox Game Bar overlay and click on Settings. In the general section, uncheck these two options. After that, go to the capturing section, uncheck the recording options, and set the audio record to none. Next, we are going to disable Game DVR and Game Bar in the registry editor. Download my pack link in the description, and extract it using 7-zip or WinRAR, and open it. I also provide the revert pack as well. Now you need to double click on these two registry entries. Click yes and click OK. Do the same thing for the other one as well. Now we need to restart our PC, but I'm going to do it after the next optimization. Now we are going to turn off the game telemetry program file through the Windows registry. So for this, go to the Windows icon, search for registry editor, and open it. To find the file manually, inside of H key local machine, go to software. Head down to the M section and find Microsoft and open it. Inside of Microsoft, go down to the W section until you find Windows Runtime. Double click on it. Navigate down to the activatable class ID. In here, navigate down to the Windows Gaming section and we should be able to find windows.gaming.gamebar. After you find that click on it. Now to turn this off, we need to change the activation type value to 0. But as you can see, we cannot change the value to 0. Because we don't have permission to edit this key. So to prevent that, right click on the folder for Game Bar Presence Writer and click on Permission. Then click on Advanced. Now you need to get the ownership over to you. For that, click on Change. In here, you need to input the administrator account or name. So, to check that, click on the Windows icon, navigate to your profile, and click Change on Account Settings. Inside of here, you can see your administrator account, which we have to input. After you find that, get back to our main display. Now input that account name or email in this box. After that, click on Check Names. So when you check names, the one you input in the box should be underlined, which means that it's correct. Once that's done, you can see the owner has come over to you. Now click Apply and click OK. Then click Add. We then need to type in that administrator account, which we used earlier. After you've done that click Check Names. And again, it should be underlined if it is correct. Click OK. After that, you can see your account here. Then check the Allow Full Control section. And click Apply, click OK. 
Now we should be able to change the value of the activation. So double click on it. Now change the value to 1 to 0. Value 1 means enable and value 0 means disable. You can easily change this value back to whenever you want. After that click OK. Once that has been completed, restart your computer to ensure that all of the optimizations have been successfully applied. So that's it for today's video guys. And make sure to check out my other videos for further performance optimizations and keep subscribing to the channel for more videos. Drop a like and a comment as well. See you guys next time.